Good day everyone. I hope you are all okay. I am Sir JM, your teacher in ELE, Information and Communication Technology or ICT under Computer System Servicing. Today is the fourth week of the first quarter and we are going to discuss about the computer hardware and software as well as we are going to widen our knowledge on occupational health and safety or the OHS in the computer laboratory or in a workplace. Before we proceed to our topics for this week, let's recall the things we have discussed on the previous weeks. First, we have the introductory part of our ICT. We talk about the history of computer, the different types of computer, we have the analog, digital, and hybrid computers. We also discuss the classifications of computers like the mainframe computers, mini computers, servers, supercomputers, microcomputers, and personal computers. We also learn about the different forms, documents, and certifications needed in a computer system. To name them, we have under quality certification. First, we have the International Standardization Organization or the ISO, Philippine Standard Quality, PS, Quality Control or QC, and the Import Commodity Clearance or ICC. So those are the things that we have discussed. Now before we are going to start our main discussion, I will give you time to prepare your things needed for this lesson and be ready after this short break. ICT ay kapaki-pakinabang sa mga okasyon Laging maasahan mga design sa tarpulin at handaan Iba't ibang mga gawain ay lalong napapagaan Okay, we're back, and now our topic is all about the computer hardware and software, and of course, the Occupational Health and Safety, or the OHS, in the computer laboratory or in a workplace. First, we are going to discuss the computer hardware. Computer hardware refers to the physical and tangible components of a computer. There are different types of computer hardware. So first, we have input devices. These devices used to input or enter data and information to the computer. Input devices allows the end users to communicate with the computer. So first we have an example of input device is the mouse. A mouse is a device that controls the movement of the cursor or pointer on a display screen. Another we have the keyboard. A keyboard is an input device that enables a user to input text into a computer. This is being used for encoding. Another, a scanner. A scanner is an input device that scans documents such as photographs and pages of text. When a document is scanned, it is converted into a digital format. Another is a light pen. It is a light-sensitive computer input device basically a stylus that is used to select text 
draw pictures, and interact with user interface elements on a computer screen or monitor. Okay, so let's proceed to another example of hardware. So output devices are devices that display results of the process data that was entered using input devices. So first we have a monitor. So monitor is a piece of computer hardware that display the video and graphics information generated by a connected computer to the computer's video card. Next we have printer. A printer is an output device that prints paper documents. This includes text documents, images, or a combination of both. And another, we have computer speaker. A computer speaker is an output hardware device that connects the computer to generate sound. And the third example of computer hardware is processing device. It is a device responsible for processing raw data in the computer. We have an example here, the central processing unit or the CPU. The central processing unit of a computer is a piece of hardware that carries out the instructions of a computer program. It performs the basic arithmetical, logical, and input-output operations of a computer system. And the fourth example of computer hardware is a storage devices. The storage devices are hardware devices used for storing information from the computer. And an example is a flash drive. It is a small rectangular device that is designed to be plugged directly into a USB port on a computer and is often used for transferring files from one computer to another. And of course, we have also a hard drive. It is an internal hard drive and it is the main storage device in a computer. An external hard drive is also known as a removable hard drive. It is used to store portable data and backups. We have also a CD-ROM disk. It is an optical storage device that is read-only or cannot be modified nor deleted. Okay, so we have also the DVD-R, DVD plus R, DVD RW, and DVD plus RW disk. So now let's discuss about the computer software. The software refers to the intangible components of a computer. There are different types of a computer software. So first we have the system software. It refers to the files and programs that make up your computer's operating system. We have the examples, the Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and so on. Another software is the application software. It refers to the programs designed for the computer users. This program helps the end user to perform specific tasks. Examples, the Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, the Microsoft PowerPoint, and so on. So those are the examples of an application software. Computer software are collection of instructions that tells the computer hardware how to work. Computer hardware will work once the computer software were installed. So now, after discussing about the software and the hardware of computer, let's proceed to the Occupational Health and Safety or the so-called OHS. So it is a safety protocols in computer laboratory in schools and other workplaces. OHS is consists of different measures to prevent various accidents that may place the students or workers in great danger while working. Occupational Health and Safety or the OHS relates to health, safety, and welfare issues in the workplace. OHS includes the laws, standards, and programs that are aimed at making the workplace better for workers along with co-workers, family members, customers, and other stakeholders. Occupational health and safety is concerned with addressing many types of workplace hazards such as first, chemicals, physical hazards. We have also the biological agents, psychological fallout, ergonomic issues, and accidents. Occupational health and safety standards are in place to mandate the removal reduction, or replacement of job site hazards. OHS programs should also include material, 
that helps minimize the effect of the hazards. Employers and company management are obliged to provide a safe working environment for all their employees. So we have here the OHS for protecting yourself inside the computer laboratory. First, we have do not run inside the computer laboratory. Take a note of all the exits in the room and take note of the location of fire extinguishers in the room for the sake of fire safety. Third, we have keep bags and coats in the designated area as they can cause people to trip off the are simply lying around the room. Fourth, we have try not to type continuously for extremely long periods. And another, look away from the screen occasionally to give your eyes a rest. Do not touch any exposed wires or sockets. And seventh, avoid making loud noises and speaking loudly. Eighth, do not attempt to open any machines and do not touch the backs of machines when they are switched on. Lastly, do not spill water or any other liquid on the machine in order to maintain electrical safety. We have also the OHS for protecting the equipment inside the computer laboratory. First, do not bring any food or drinks near the machine. Second, turn off the machine you were using when you are done using it. Third, do not access external devices without scanning them for computer viruses. Fourth, ensure that the temperature in the room stays cool since there are a lot of machines inside a lab and this can overheat easily. This is one of the many ways of ensuring computer safety. We have the fifth one, try not to touch any of the circuit boards and power sockets when something is connected to them and switch on. Always maintain an extra copy of all your important data. And lastly, dust can affect computers adversely. Ensure that the machines are cleaned on a regular basis. These are the importance of OHS. First, well-implemented and maintained OHS save lives of employees. Second, we have well-maintained OHS saves money. An injured employee easily means countless lost manpower hours and quickly adds up to not only thousands but millions of pesos in company's expenses. Third, OHS create new opportunities. Employees may give their own ideas and suggestions to improve the safety of the employees as well as the customers who will buy their products. Fourth one, OHS affect the company's reputation and productivity. No company should want a possible future recruit to read online that the workplace is not investing in occupational safety. So there we have class, our discussion for this week, and let's have a short flashback or a recall on what we have tackled today. So first we have, a computer system is composed of computer hardware and software. Hardware are the tangible parts of the computer and software are the intangible components. Software are the computer programs that we installed to make our computer work and perform specific tasks. Through software, the end users can do a lot of things like automate document, create presentation, edit pictures, and a lot more. Bear in mind that computer hardware will not function well without installing computer software. And also we have the Occupational Health and Safety or the OHS. It is a safety standards requirement in every workplace. The main purpose of OHS is to prevent accident and save lives of the workers in their workplace. There are many types of hazard in the workplace. Workers and employers should be aware of it to promote healthy and safe environment. So those are the important things that we learned on this learning video. And I hope you are going to work with your modules and accomplish all the given activities. Follow all the instructions provided by your teacher and I hope you will finish all activities on time. Once again, I'm your teacher in TLE ICT9, Sir JM, sharing you with this quotation. Technology is not just a tool. It can give learners a voice that they may not have had before. Handang isip, handa bukas. 
serving you with much love.